Hello everybody, happy Tuesday, hope you're doing very well, and it's time for another shirts replacement. I feel like I've been doing quite a few of those recently, however this one is genuinely one I've been looking to do. In fact I've been looking to do this for about five years it seems, but I've been kind of disappointed with some of the shirts the club has released over that period. However, hopefully what I've got in this little box here is one of the examples that is going to be good. It has to be better than the one I currently have. Now, it is a little box that's arrived in, but there isn't a box within, which is a little bit disappointing, but okay, sarah, sarah. It does have some logos on it, etc. So you probably gathered who it already is from that. So let's get it open, and hopefully the shirt is as nice as I hope it's going to be. So there should just be an easy pull tab, I think. Ah. So the first thing we're greeted with is a tag. Always a good start. And they've packed this very nicely in here. Okay, let's just throw that to the side. And here we go. So, we are the shirt. It is beautiful in its plainness. Pure black body. However, we do have some red, a slightly darker red trim. And then on the back, we have Verksel, which for those of you who are German will know what that means. And I really expect most of you to know what that means also. And then on the sleeve we have, what is this? A golden Bundesliga patch. Well, there's only one team that could specifically be for. And then also there should be on this one, a sponsor, which is really sort of uh, blacked out on the sleeve there. So if you bring it around to the front, you should be able to recognize the crest based on the clues that I've given you. There it is. Get rid of that. Wait a minute, who is that crest? I don't recognize that crest. Mm, interesting. So the continuation of the color scheme, black on the front. We've got a black sponsor in the, in the front there. I promise you it's there. We have Castor branding. The first ever Castor shirt in my collection. Interesting. And then we have some buttons on the front. And they're in this very lovely yellow color. Very, very nice. But interesting crest. Hmm. Well, you probably have an idea of who it is, and it must be that club. But let me trust the mannequin, and I'll explain to you uh, why this shirt exists and what it's all about. Right here then, there is the shirt. Very nice, little blackout effort, mostly. But who is the club? Well, it's, it's Bayer Leverkusen. You know it's Bayer Leverkusen, of course. Why would you not know who that is? And it's their special shirt that they released earlier this season. I say earlier in the season, the season's still relatively young. I bought it from the club store, obviously, with all the branding on the box. And it cost me £75, which is, you know what, that's pretty decent for a special edition shirt. What isn't decent, though, is the shipping. That was £33 for... A t-shirt in a box what even a box t-shirt i feel like they could have done something a little bit better for some international customers and also what they did was for whatever reason they used my email address on probably everybody else's international shipments so i was getting updates from dhl for people in south africa for los angeles for um basel in switzerland for somebody in france and I'm like, uh, uh, guys, this is not my package. And you know how difficult it is to speak to someone like DHL and explain that to them. Uh, so sorry if you've ordered it from South Africa, but you've got some customs to fee, uh, custom fees to pay, and I, I'm not going to do that for you. Anyway, you can still actually get this shirt, at least at the time recording, in a small. Uh, yeah, and also, <laughs> so they sold out, but I think they got a few more back because people returned them. And then the price has gone up now, because looking at this graphic, it suggests it's about £90. That's with the additional patches that I've got on the sleeve. So um, it's like an Oasis ticket, you know, reactive pricing. Uh, I won't bore you with regards to details about the club, because we all know who they are and what they were able to achieve last season, hence the golden patch on the sleeve there. Now, this is a Castor shirt. It's the first one ever in my collection. Now, it's a brand that's received a fair amount of criticism over the years due to poor quality. However, I haven't really been able to comment until now, until I've actually been able to get one in my hands. And it's generally been images you see online of like crests missing or shirts tearing. And whilst that can happen, especially with the player versions, because generally it's a more of a lightweight material and it's only really designed to be worn once, I suppose, uh, you still don't want to see that as a fan. Now, this isn't the player issue version of the shirt, though that was available, but just to club members, which that one definitely sold out very quickly. Uh, the immediate difference from my point of view between the one I have and the pro version is simply that one actually did come in a presentation box, which as you know, 
I certainly would have appreciated that. It came with a certificate which sort of highlighted the number out of 1000. So the actual pro versions were limited to 1000 and this is limited to some number. Um, so it's certainly going to be higher than that. Now this shirt was released to celebrate the club's 120th anniversary, though the football club department wasn't formed until 1907. So to me, that's not 120 years. So it's reminiscent of the first ever jersey the club wore, sort of black with these red trims on the collar and on the cuffs. Now the first thing you'll notice other than that is probably the crest, the change in crest. Now this is the first crest that the club used. Now if you don't know, the club was founded when workers of the Bayer Chemical and Pharmaceutical Company requested the establishment of a company-owned sports club. The original crest for the Bayer Corp was a lion stood on a globe, which is what they used for the football department's sort of initial one. So you've got that there, you've got the lion on the globe there. And also the club's Original name was Turn und Spielverein Bayer 04, which is like a gymnastics and games club. And of course, that's what a lot of clubs started off as. They're just a general sports um, uh, club, ultimately, which did all sorts of stuff. Or they were like cricket clubs that sort of converted into football clubs. Um, underneath the logo, apparently there's an NFC chip which takes you to sort of some special content regarding the shirt. I suspect that's probably just a video just talking about the past and, and whatnot. Probably the one they used in the marketing when they actually released the shirt there. But, you know, it's an interesting feature. This was actually worn in a game against Holstein Kiel. And what I did like and did appreciate was the fact that on the match infographics, they not only use the older crest for Bayer Leverkusen, they use the older one for Holstein Kiel which was a nice little detail. They drew the match 2-0, 2-0. Uh, they drew the match 2-all after being 2-0 up, which is a bit disappointing, isn't it? It was also worn by the ladies team for Bayer Leverkusen, who uh, also drew their match. And for whatever reason, the infographics for theirs use the current versions of the logos, which is a bit boring, isn't it? But as I have mentioned, this is a replacement shirt. So those of you who may me, or maybe you haven't seen the one I have for Leverkusen, it's this one here, which is like the 13, 14, 14, 15 home slash away shirt, because I think they kind of went from being a uh, home to away colours. And it's another one sort of similar in design, I guess, and it's been a black body with those red trims. So it is a little bit of a tribute to the older ones. It's just partly for me, I hate these sort of felt crests. Sponsors, just a bit blocky, a bit boring. Not a huge fan of sort of the reverse sort of stitching on the Adidas was pretty keen on during this period. And it just feels just not the greatest of materials, quite clunky. But again, it's from that period of time. This actually feels not too bad, to be honest. Not sure what a pro version feels like, whether it's really thin, like a Puma pro version I'm really not a fan of. Um, but I prefer this one I have here over the one that I originally had. Um, I mean, Castor, I've been with Bayer Leverkusen now for a few seasons at the very least. You know what, the, the other shirts that they've done, so the home shirt is fine, the away shirt is cool, and the third shirt is cool. So it, if anything, it might have been just one of those that I'd have picked up. But between the shirt I had and until now, the shirts have been relatively similar and plain, which is a bit of a shame for a club that is clearly as, 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 as strong as, as it is certainly right now. And one thing that... When I mentioned about the older crest, you know I like a, an alternative crest. I picked up a book recently, which is this one. It's like the World Football Club crest. And effectively, it's just sort of the designs and the background and the meaning of them. So it's been great just reading about what they started off as, the influences, how they've changed over the years and where they currently stand. Um, because, uh, you know, I think the historical part of football clubs is certainly something that we should always be keen to um, preserve and a shirt like this regardless of what people think because in germany teams like Bayer leverkusen and, and hoffenheim and wolfsburg and leipzig uh, are kind of held in a slightly different regard to the traditional football teams i suppose but there we go that is it i'm, I'm pretty pleased with it it's um it's a nice shirt for castor I, I think that's pretty decent I think they still do severe shirts, and I still need a severe shirt. 
but I don't think they've got a sponsor and they're not doing too well so maybe it's not the one I want to get for this season and they're also with Athletic Club and that's a really smart shirt anyway that's that's this one the next video I'm going to do I've got a bunch more shirts just to open generally just for sort of selling and whatnot so I'll probably just do those because I want to make sure I've got them and if I need to return I can return them promptly and then after that, I've got some pretty cool stuff coming. I've been buying some pretty special shirts. I have also bought what I think possibly could be the most beautiful shirt released this season. Certainly so far. Just keep your eyes peeled for that one. Hope you have a great week ahead. Thank you as always for watching the videos. Goodbye.